Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have a new Mega Bundle from Unity. Now I'm a little late covering this one for that, I apologize, but to make up for it, what I'm going to do is cover a number of the assets in this video as well. This is actually kind of a new concept from uh, Unity, and I hope they keep it up, because I really like it. What they've done is basically, uh, they've got the, the publisher procedural world, so this bundle isn't necessarily about creating procedural worlds, instead the creator procedural worlds curated this stuff, because it goes along well with their own assets. You'll also notice they have a 50% off sale on on their assets from procedural worlds, things like Gaia Pro, uh, and a number of other assets here. And the entire idea is everything in this mega bundle plays well with their stuff. I do hope they keep doing this. Like I said, I'm a touch late on this one. There are eight plus days remaining. So hopefully after this video, you'll have an idea if this bundle is right for you. Now it's organized into tiers, but it might as well not be to be honest, because if you're gonna buy this, you're gonna buy the highest tier just because it's $10 more and you get two to three times as much stuff. But if you wanna just buy an individual item, uh, you could do so. We got 30 $30 tier here. You can get the Soul Link Procedural AI Spawner, the Fish School Bundle, and the Northern Lights Pack. Nobody's going to buy that tier because this tier, for just $5 more, you also get the Beach Forest Ecosystem. We'll see that in action today. The Cartoon Insect Characters and the Village Exterior Kit. But no one's going to buy that tier because, of course, for just $5 more, and that's the way they get you. Uh, but here, the top tier of the bundle, you see you get a ton more stuff, plus all of the other stuff we just mentioned. And for $40, bucks, this is a heck of a deal. So you're also getting the Crest Ocean System for the ERP. Uh, the Jungle Tropical Vegetation, we'll see that today. City 2, we'll see that today. The Polyverse Skies, um, which by the way, I, I think was in a previous bundle, as was Global Snow, if, if I remember correctly. But for the most part, everything here is new to me. Uh, the Live 20, 29, sorry, 2019 Lava and Volcano Environment. The Massive Clouds Atmos Volumetric Skybox. The In Control System, the Ultimate Medieval Constructor, we'll see that in t action today too. And then finally, the Su Survival Template Pro, which we will also see. So we got a lot of things to see in action. We're going to jump right in. And again, remember, there is that 50% off sale from all Procedural World stuff and then this mega bundle. I do like this structure. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the value for 40 bucks in terms of what you're getting here. I think it's a pretty solid deal. Now let's start things off uh, with City. So this one here is City. City installs uh, as a plugin. You'll see here window City right here. We're going to be using the City Editor. To use this guy, it is pretty straightforward. What we do is come in here and go New, and we're going to create a train. You could create a plane if you want. I'm just going to create a normal train right here, like so. We're going to stay quite zoomed in. And now what we're going to do is add city. So city, city, city editor. And it's gonna say, okay, I need to create a scene graph, do that, and it'll create it for us. So now with our train selected, uh, we just go ahead and uh, shift click. So we select in the world and then shift right click. And we basically just start drawing city blocks. Like so what we're creating is a, a road system. And what you'll notice is we created this um, environment right here. Now, if you look down here, I can actually change that out. Uh, so instead of downtown, we'll do an industrial this time. And we'll just pan over here. We'll do a shift click again. And we can just basically keep extending it. So do over here. No, shift right click there. Close that off. And now we're going to create an industrial block. Now we could also do the same thing with residential. So shift click, shift click, close it off. And there it creates a residential infill. By the way, you can move these things around and so on. So it's a way of rapidly creating um blocks or city cityscapes and so on they obviously will conform to whatever train you're with we're dealing with a flat train at this point in time uh, but you get an idea of what city is capable you can also provide your own uh, buildings for it to work with and populate the various different areas uh, you can also create your own particular environments to work with so um they the intersections the setups so you can you can set these all up yourself you can provide your own um environments if you wish so if you want your houses to look a little bit more realistic uh, you can create and provide realistic housing it also uh, integrates with uh, other tools such as Gaia um, so it, it's a very neat program uh, for rapidly creating cityscapes and obviously you see uh, you're actually creating the roads uh, as the control point. So it's creating a road network. And you'll notice here, it's even creating the intersections where those roads all come together. City 2 is one of those uh, really kind of neat assets to check out. So next up, we're going to show you the, uh, oh, by the way, this was a standard render pipeline. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the uh, medieval uh, pack here. So we're going to switch over here to their version 2.0 demo. All right, not save the city sample. So here we go. Let's just pick something and focus on it. And what you see, this one is pretty straightforward. If you're creating a medieval environment, it is a ton of prefab content for creating that kind of environment. So you see here, you've got uh, windmills and uh, hovels and houses and um, shrubs and such to go around. We also have all of the kits you need to go ahead and create 
uh, castle interiors and so on. If you come down here, look at the prefab sections, you're going to see there is a ton. So you got things here for uh, creating a castle modularly. You also got uh, for creating them in a fast style. You got different LODs. You got things here for cemeteries, towns, and so on. And then even come down here, you've got rock packs. And then if we come down here, otherwise, you've even got um, contents for inside of the city. So furnishings and so here we go, furnishing sets beds and so on. So there's a huge amount of content here if you're creating a medieval style game. Uh, so that's the one. Now I'm going to switch over to the HDRP content. Uh, this one here is the Beach Forest ecosystem. Uh, it is basically just a set of um, HDRP ready content for creating uh, forest environments. You can see here it's super uh, detailed and the cool thing here is everything you see here also, so I'll grab this tree right here. You're going to notice over here, uh, there's multiple LOD sets for it here. So the LOD level zero is 14,000 triangles, whereas LOD level three is 16 triangles. So uh, you should be able to use it in pretty much any amount of game. Uh, your, your system should scale up and handle this one without any issue. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward content set. So if you need to have a forest style environment, it is a ton of prefabs. And you see here, we're now currently using LOD level three for that thing I selected. As I get closer, we switch into LOD level two and we get here LOD level zero. So it's got all of the LOD groups set up for everything. And it's just an absolute ton of prefabs for you to drop into your world. So that's the beach forest uh, environment. We also have a similar thing for the jungle. I'll go here, let's open that one up. So let's just take a look at the jungle environment. Again, uh, this asset we we're about to see, we'll load it up here. Uh, this is HDRP pipeline as well. And there we go. So it's uh, kind of just uh, all the, the stuff you need here to create instead a jungle sort of uh, environment preset. Again, all prefabs ready to go. I don't know if we have automatic, yet yeah, we have LOD groups set up here as well, uh, which is nice. You also have the settings of like a, an abandoned temple. You have vines and such that you can uh, work with here. Again, all LOD level groups as well. Uh, nowhere near as drastic number of triangle sets, but um, nonetheless, very useful, straightforward pack here. So you can actually see all the assets individually right here. It's not actually that many. You see them all kind of laid out here, but everything is again, multiple LODs, prefab ready to go. So it's just more or less drag and drop to use this pack. So that's the two HDRP packs we've got there. Um, and then we've got the uh, survival pack. Now this one is probably one of the more interesting ones. This is an entire template for creating a survival style game. And there is a lot that has been implemented here. So I'm just going to go ahead. We will show you this one running right now. So give it a second to load. So this is one of the many demos. There's a ton of different demos here, by the way. And you get an idea of what this is capable of. So you see here, you've got crafting and um, different things in the environment. You've got pickup. You've got inventory systems. So I can do E to pick something up. We've got a wheel style inventory system over here. Come on over here, you're going to notice you've even got a uh, weapon system. So for example, over here, I've got a spear or I've got a bow and arrow. Like so, and I got some targets I can hit. Oops. Okay, that was not great aim. So like that. And then we even have some guns set up and inventory system, ammo count, that kind of stuff. So if you're creating a survival style game, most of the the systems are in place here. So let's hold down E and here you're going to see shooting. And of course we've got scope zoomed shooting. So if this is the kind of game you're creating, all of the, um, all of the aspects you need to create such a game, have been kind of implemented for you in this one. Definitely uh, one of the more involved assets in the pack. It, it implements a ton of stuff for you. And again, there are a number of different examples to work with. This is a prototype one. Um, we've also got, you know, let me just exit this game. So stop playing. We'll load up the showcase here. So again, kind of shows you the sort of stuff that it can do. So you've got uh, tools, ammo, crafting items, food and medication. And again, all of the systems in place for handling those kinds of things. Uh, you've got buildings so you can slot things together. So if you want to have a world building kind of environment where you make your own uh, house, it's all set up for it. Socket based world building. Um, it, it's a very comprehensive setup, button systems here, um, tons, tons and tons and tons of, uh, functionality in this particular pack. I could probably do an entire video about this one alone, but that is the survival pack there. Um, uh, so that's 
kind of the extent of it. So again, uh, it's the Procedural World's Mega Bundle. Uh, first tier, you're getting uh, these three assets and nobody's gonna buy that one. Second tier, you get these three assets. Again, nobody's gonna buy that one because again, for just a couple bucks more, you get everything here and there's a whole lot more. So what we looked at was this guy, uh, this guy right here, city, jungle, and then of course the beach forest ecosystem gives you an idea of what is in this pack now then again i do really like the idea that they've gone with here because uh the procedural roles creator went and curated a bunch of assets that work well together so if one asset works in your game theoretically they should all work in your game so it's not a matter of trying to mix and match styles together a little bit of that so you got like the low polygon skybox but for the most part all of the aesthetics will work together. All of the various different systems should work together. And I, I do like this um, mega bundle approach that Unity have taken. But I'm curious what you think, what you think of the selection here, of this mega bundle, of the smaller mega bundle approach. And again, I apologize for being a little bit later, but hopefully this more in-depth version uh, kind of gives you an idea if it's a good pickup for you. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.